Welcome to another edition of News Bites here on Daily World Television. My name is Cal Korf and I'm your host. American President Donald Trump is due to meet the dictator of China, President Xi Jinping. At their summit, one of the issues which will unquestionably be discussed is the behavior of communist North Korea. Trump has made it clear as has his Pentagon leaders and Secretary of State, that if China does not start cooperating to rein in North Korea and stop its rogue behavior, that Trump will move unilaterally, even if it means that other allied nations like Japan don't help. Japan's parliament, several key members of it, are already calling for a first strike against North Korea a preemptive strike to take out any possibility that the North Koreans will be able to develop an intercontinental ballistic missile that can hit as far as the western coast of California, Washington, or Oregon in the United States. North Korea's likely target, if it were to launch against the USA, would be, of course, Hawaii, which is much closer. Japan has long been within range of North Korea's missiles, they don't need their latest rocket engines to reach Japan. They've had that capability for years. A key difference in the new missiles that North Korea is making, regardless of their range, is that they are now capable of carrying miniaturized nuclear warheads or dirty bombs at the very least. We must remember that last year, North Korea claims that it developed a hydrogen bomb and they, of course, detonated it underground. Whether they actually pulled that technical feat off has yet to be definitively proven, but scientists do know that whatever it was that was exploded beneath the surface of the Earth in North Korea was absolutely a nuclear weapon. North Korea has been busy prepping for another nuclear explosion test. They have been warned by even China not to go ahead and go forward with the launch. The timing of North Korea's antics, of course, is predictable. It always happens around when there are things going on with China because China uses North Korea as a convenient sock puppet to present problems for the West, much like communist China will do things with Pakistan so it can poke India in the eye by using Pakistan as its proxy rather than dealing with India directly. The same is the case in North Korea. If there were to be a preemptive strike, it would have to be all sweeping, all pervasive, and lightning fast. The reason why is simple physics. About one third of all the artillery pieces pointed from North Korea into South Korea, where its capital city of Seoul is easy targeting, are loaded with weapons of mass destruction, chemical and biological warheads, specifically VX nerve agent gas. North Korea has used that weapon in a recent successful assassination of its dictator's half-brother in Malaysia. So in order for a military strike to be successful, these artillery pieces would need to be taken out at one time. The United States has, does have that military capability, but what it cannot do is fight a protracted war or allow the war to go on for even days or several hours because that would give the North Koreans plenty of time to regroup and rearm and fire back. And it's what they would fire back, which could include weapons of mass destruction, that would cause devastation beyond measure in South Korea. 